presidential elections, we know that that might be what, what they vote for. So the uh, people in the community who tend to be in a much better socioeconomic status, who also might tend to be white in those communities, they vote. And uh, unfortunately, uh, the school boards and the municipal uh, alder aldermatic or the council boards or the mayors sometimes look nothing like the community that's actually there, but they look like the people who continue to vote. And it gets frustrating because they pass laws that are actually working against the majority of the population there and only pro to help protect a small few. It's sad and it's frustrating. It's been going on for quite some time and it's uh, it just seems like this has just been bubbling up for a long time. And Patricia Bynes, this issue of um, the Ferguson Police Department being part of this federal program in which the Pentagon distributes hundreds of millions of dollars worth of surplus military equipment from the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. I mean, it's interesting because it certainly looked at like that yesterday. Were there MRAPs in the streets? Mm -hmm. And I don't know what an MRAP the, is. The military vehicles. Did, I've just been seeing uh, them say St. Louis County SWAT on it. That's what I've seen. I haven't seen necessarily tanks. I have not seen that. But they have been in the military garb. What, what usually has been tending to happen uh, at the protest level, first police during the daytime are out in their regular plainclothes police. Uh, as things escalate, they might start putting on the riot gear with the clear shields and the masks, holding the billy clubs. Um, and then as the night proceeds, it seems to be a, a change, a shift.